it's May 24th, 2022. Um, this is part of the confusing bit um, that goes on President Joe Biden speaks. Um, he makes his comments. There's something that he refers to as the One China Policy, um, which I'm not clear what that means. Um, and then they reference a 10 and a 3. And then it they, inter they change venue completely. And then they show Lloyd Austin, who they're claiming is some um, defense secretary. What he's defending, I don't know. What he's a secretary of, I don't know. What the value placement of that title is in the big wide world of humanity, I don't know. Um, there's been no construct as to echelon of importance or tiers, even T-I-E-R-S um, system. I know that they get these grandiose titles, but it's very confusing in the us with there being not us in an us. Um, and then there being the alien us, which is RH negative, trapped inside this us and not us and whatever. And then I was thinking this morning, I'm like, there used to be an us and an SR. And then that broke up. Um, who's handling the SR if the us is having so many issues? So that was interesting, and I think they used to refer to it as the USSR, but it looks like the US is still around. I don't know if the SR has representatives still, since it's four letters, and if they break. Um, so that gets confusing. Um, but this is what it looks like. This is, um, Eyewitness News. It's the ABC at noon. <clears throat> and appearing to walk back remarks made just yesterday, but those comments mark the third time in 10 months he talked openly about the possibility of the U.S. responding militarily if China were to attack Taiwan. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin also questioned... Is now this is interesting also because it looks like they're at a reduced capacity for people allowed to ask questions in the room. It also looks like it's four women in the chairs. Um, So that's interesting. The U.S. making co a commitment to send troops to defend Taiwan in the event of an invasion by China. As the president said, uh, our one, to, uh, China, one China policy has not changed to help uh, provide Taiwan uh, the means to defend itself. Closing the president's Asia tour, a meeting of the Quad, Biden joined the leaders of Japan, Australia and India. The president and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi also meeting separately as India faces increasing criticism for its neutral stance on Russia's war in Ukraine. And back to that controversy over Taiwan, China's foreign ministry spokesman warning the U.S. today, saying no force in the world, including the U.S., can stop China from achieving national unification. Justin Fish, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Ken? All right, Justin, thank you for that report. And adult sex abuse? Um, so that's interesting. Uh, it then goes into the system that the... It's, it says the Great Seal of New York, um, and it speaks on other things, but I, I mean, they won something, but it doesn't say, like, who can file a lawsuit, who's, who can't file a lawsuit. Again, these are like these 
these general audience topics, but they've never been taught how to receive it. How does the system work? Again, it's part of this conundrum that was established at some point. I don't know when, um, but it's really difficult to navigate when you hear these headlines, but they're spoken of in a way and you're like, I, does that, is that how people survive? I don't really know. Um, it's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Ketterers. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.